Um, this one was tough. This one was tough tonight um, because our players were prepared and they were ready. Um, we got a good shoot around this morning. Uh, so we were really encouraged going into the game. Uh, we knew the game plan. We knew who shooters were, who weren't shooters. Um, we went in encouraged. I think we came out the first quarter very well. And then in the second quarter, we get a couple ticky tack fouls um, and we drop our heads. And that's one of the things when you have such a tough preseason. You know, we walk by faith, I continue to say that, but you have to believe it every single play and every single possession. It's not the end game, it's living in the moment. So we had a tough second quarter, tough third, and then another quarter in the fourth, we came out and we played extremely hard, and our bench players played very, very hard. So um, disappointing loss. Um, tonight was one of those teaching life moments um, versus teaching basketball. Um, and it doesn't come easy. Life doesn't come easy. And obviously getting wins doesn't come easy. But what we're going to do, as we say at the end of every single game, we win together, we lose together, we stay together. And that's what we're going to do. Yeah, that's the future of TSU women's basketball. It is. Um, you know, I'm going to say this because I think the public needs to hear it at the end of the day um, because judgment comes with young people early and it is not fair to do so. We have three players right now that are medically out for the season that are all contributing scores from past games. We also have another player who's on suspension um, right now. We're going to do it the team way. We're going to do it the team way, and that's how we need to do We need to buy on rules on and off the court. And so we're missing four key components that all have experience, Division One and OVC experience playing. So when you say freshmen, freshmen are stepping up into sophomore roles way before they were ready to do so. And I think they're handling it like champs. I really, really do. Jasmine Young is playing well. She's shooting the ball well. And when the long ball is not going, she's getting to the rim. Teresha Banner is our backup point guard. And I think she gets in the gap probably better than anybody we have. And look at Ashley Primus today. We run a lot of play to her. She hits the high post shot. She split the three-pointer. I thought she was going to shoot that one as well. And she's a lefty. So kids that weren't on the scout have made the scout. So what we're looking to do is continuously build a foundation for this program. And that's what we did with our freshmen tonight, and I'm very pleased with their production. All right, uh, now, in the game, went 2 of 23 from a three-point range. Uh, do you think it was more of a, just a, kind of how the offense was functioning tonight, or was it more just missing shots? Well, if you look there, like in the fourth quarter, you know, we, we have a kickback play that we sort of kind of run. We got five looks. Got to hit them, and they're open. You know, so the threes we're shooting are open. You know, we're Division One basketball players, so you can't tell the kids to not shoot or everybody will ice you for the rest of the season. Um, and so shooters are getting back in the gym. You know, matter of fact, I know girls in the locker room right now who are coming back at 9, 10 o'clock at night and putting up shots, you know. Uh, the flip side is I don't I think we can shoot that bad again. And we did from the free throw line as well, which is unequivocally not what we do. To me, that's a mental block, but that's okay. We do a lot of mental focusing things on this program, and on Sunday and on Monday, we're going to make sure we reel the kids back in. All right, and I also noticed as well, a little bit more pressure as the game went on. Uh, is that going to be a little bit more of a function of this team as we go forward, uh, a little bit more pressure with uh, let's see, who is it? From, uh, Jasmine Broner. Broner. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's a long freshman out of Ohio. Um, if we don't defend, we don't score. So our defense has to be our offense. And we're, we're going to be up regardless of who it is, regardless of the scout is, we're going to be up in some way. We may jump some screens, we may not. We may run them down an alley. But we're going to be up defensively because when we don't do that, we get stagnant offensively. And that leads to our offense. Transition back baskets is a good third of how we score. So yeah, we're going to be up quite a bit. Um, we're going to get the kids prepared, but the key thing is this, you know, I've been getting a lot from counterparts in the OVC, and first and foremost, let me say thank you. We have some really quality coaches in this league. You have to revamp your kids mentally before you can get them to buy in physically. Our focus is good. The wins and losses have absolutely nothing to do with our focus. It's the buy-in and believing every step of the way. So we're going to work more on the mental side than the physical side. Um, I choose my team all day long, and I think we match up extremely well with Eastern Kentucky. So we'll be ready. Right, thank you. Coach. Thank you.